back. It's uh, halftime. Has ended 34 to 22. Norristown kind of exploded towards the end of the game a little bit there. Tennant takes possession of the ball. You saw Norristown open up big, and then it looked like they slowed down a little bit. And then towards the end of the uh, second quarter, Green came back in and provided some much needed spark offensively and defensively, which allowed Norristown to once again regain control as Johnson weaves his way to the hoop to no avail. I want to personally take this opportunity to thank both those wrestlers for uh, coming down and talking to me at halftime. Steve Fiddler and Mike Inyard, both uh, nice guys, and uh, hopefully they have a good season. Uh, the halftime show was sponsored by the Birdcage, which is a refreshment stand here run by the end club and Mr. Santangelo. Give a little plug for them. Green with a nice dish off to the side. Good job trying to create a shot. James ends up with the bucket, but Maurice Allen did a really nice job coming across. Nice, nice leaping action there. A lot of athletic ability out on the court right now. Well, at the, uh, as the teams came back out, <clears throat> Tennant had Taylor and Johnson with the coach in their ear on the bench as the other players were warming up. So it looks like he's looking to those two seniors for some leadership in the second half. Green skates across the floor. William Tenlow bring the ball in. That's number 11, DJ Johnson on the inbounds, guarded by uh, Maurice Allen. Brings it into Shear. Shear guarded by Marcus Green. The pick, Shear still with the ball. Over to number 24, Jason Brown. Inside to DJ Johnson, easy two points. Johnson now has nine points. So it's a nice ball movement on the part of Tennant. They found Johnson with a clean cut to the middle, and they might have gone over that at halftime because you didn't see a whole lot of that during the first half. That's true. Green controls for the Eagles. Over to Allen. Allen back to Green. Back to Allen. He's got James on the other side. Allen looking, nothing there. Green back on top. Over to Andy James, double zero. James pulls up for three. It's good. It's good, and the Eagles take a 39-24 lead. James has all five of the Eagles' points so far in the second half. Tennant opens up in a 3-2 defense, which is, which is new to them for this game. Curtis Taylor inbounds to DJ Johnson. Johnson bringing it up to court. Controlling the ball. Over to Shear. Shear inside the straight. Back out to Taylor. Taylor looks, looks for someone that's open. He dribbles out. Taylor dribbles around to the right side, back to Johnson. Johnson controls, pulls up for two. Easy two points again for DJ Johnson, and it looks like the Panthers are uh, coming out a little stronger. Johnson's got four points for the Panthers since he's been back. How many is that given for the game? That's 11 for him. Allen pulls up on the shot, no good. Rebound, Brown, out to Johnson again. Dribbling against Maurice, uh, Marcus Green. Inside to Jason Strait, it's no good. Andy James with a steal. Dribbling up the court, loses his dribble a little bit. Heavily deed by the Panthers. It's Allen on the wing, intercepted by Straight, straight ahead to Taylor. Taylor's got Johnson. He's going to take it himself. Two points for Taylor. Well, in that situation for uh, Green, you're kind of gambling whether the guy's going to take a shot or feed, and he kind of played the middle. Taylor did the wise thing by taking the ball uh, strong to the bucket, and he's rewarded with a, with a with two looks points. Like, looks like Tom McGee's going to call a timeout. Doesn't, see, doesn't like what he's seeing as Marcus Green brings it over. It's a 22nd timeout, 39-28 uh, with 5-10 left in the third quarter. And John, both teams coming out uh, trying to put some points on the board, but it looks like William Tennant is, has the momentum right now. Well, they're pretty evenly matched. Uh, Tennant's cut the lead by one. I think at halftime when they came back, it was a 12-point lead. Now it's an 11-point lead over the first roughly three minutes of the second half. You've seen DJ Johnson step it up a little bit. And for the Eagles, all five of Andy James' points so far this evening have come in this quarter, or come in actually in this three-minute span. Andy James will bring the ball in. He's got Green, Allen, Tolson, and Weldon on the floor. He hits it to the field general, Green. Now over to Allen, back to James. Looks almost like it's an extended 1-3-1 for Tennant right now. And the zone, zone defense indeed. Johnson's going up, up high on Green when he has the ball. Norristown being very patient. This is as, as long as the offense has held the ball so far. Right. Weldon thinks he's got his man pinned, which he does. Weldon takes a shot, it's no good. He gets his own rebound and puts it right back up. 
He's double digits tonight unofficially. That's his 10th point. Here comes DJ Johnson for the Panthers. Dribbles in and back out again. Over to Taylor. Taylor looks for straight inside. Nothing there. Allen with a steal. He's got three on one. Takes it himself. No. Off to James. Back to Green. Green pulls it back out top. Andy James for three. Shots a little bit off. Rebound Curtis Taylor. I've been over, over, I'm sorry, over to Adam Shear. Despite the mess, I've been really thoroughly impressed with the amount of effort that these Norristown kids are showing on both ends of the court. I mean, they are scrapping and fighting offensively and defensively. Uh, no lack of effort on the part of Norristown. Indeed. And that's the style of play that, that's initiated by that zone defense. As you see straight go to the basket, gets a clean look. They're going to try him again. Foul's going to be called on. It looks like Brad Weldon. I think that's his third foul. Uh, belong to the Panthers underneath the basket. As we see, as we see a substitution, uh, Weldon goes out, Josiah Perry comes in. That's Josiah Perry, number 32. As Weldon heads to the bench, Coach McGee tells him there's nothing he could have done about that one. It was just a matter of circumstance. But unfortunately, it looks like the policy is when you foul, you go to the bench. Straight Perry, the ball out, sorry, out to Taylor. Perry comes in. He's had a decent night so far this evening, but it's too bad to see Weldon handcuffed by the three fouls. He's having a really nice, strong night uh, on the boards. Shear with a shot. It's no good. Andy James rebound. James passes to Green. Green, big pass up to Maurice Allen. Allen flare, uh, showed us a little excitement in the first half with the slam dunk. Now they're being patient. Green back to James. James again for three. No good. No rebound for Norristown. One shot and out. Shear over to Jason Brown. Inside to DJ Johnson. Slamming the boards, Norristown. Oh, nice pass. Maurice Allen to Marcus Green. No slam dunk possible, but Marcus Green gets two there. I'll tell you what, he wasn't too far, but that was an outstanding effort on the part of Allen. He has had great court awareness on that play and threw the behind the head pass a la Larry Bird to a wide open Green. Shear to straight, straight, no good. Andy James rebound, but stolen right away by Shear. He brought the ball down and he's got his pocket pick. Shear gets two points. It's a good job by Shear. Looks a little bit like Green on that one. Comes down, makes a great defensive play, and then manufactures some points off yep, of it. Andy, that's what Tennant needs. It's 43 to 30. Ooh, there, there's a collision between James and Straight. James doesn't like the, uh, the foul, but hey, that's part of the game. Both guys going up for the shot or for the ball, and one guy gets hit and one guy goes down. Yeah, I think uh, Straight was trying to help Andy James up. Certainly doesn't get an A for sportsmanship in no. that one. Kind of shoot shoot him away, unfortunately, because I don't think it was uh, purposely the intent of Straight to put uh, Andy James in a, in a in a position like that. Salim Campbell takes a shot. It's off. Rebound by Jason Brown. Over to Taylor. Taylor brings it up the court. Stops outside the three-point line. Inside to Brown. Brown fakes out one man and puts the basket up for good. Well, that was a nice job by Straight. He got the ball down low, got his man in the air, and then took it up and got a clean look at the basket. That's the best offensive move we've seen out of him all night, and he's had plenty of attempts. Salim Campbell takes an outside shot. He misses Tolson with a rebound and a put back for two. Steal by Josiah Perry. Ahead to Green. Green's got two, three on two. Josiah Perry puts it up, and he's going to be fouled. Oh, nope. Traveling. Traveling called against Josiah Perry. Too many steps. Perry might have been slipping on a shoelace, which he's trying to secure at this point. Tennant remains in that full court pressure. It's 45-32. They've got a 13-point advantage with just under two minutes left to go in the third quarter. Johnson brings the ball up with Shear. Guarded by Allen. Dribbles around. Takes an off-balance shot. It's no good. Tolson with the rebound. Passes to Green, and the Eagles are coming back on offense. Green ahead to Salim Campbell, going for three. Baskets in and out. Josiah Perry, the rebound, no good. Rebound Taylor. Taylor ahead to Straight. Straight puts the shot up. He's fouled. He's going to be fouled by Salim Campbell. Campbell Campbell's got a couple of fouls against him. Tough job. Campbell that pretty much defended him as well as he could have. Norristown continues to dominate on the board and from the offensive end, they're getting at least a second attempt at the basket, if not a third or a fourth. Tennant is totally outmanned on the on the boards. Tennant would need a, a, an increased effort from this guy on the line right now, straight, if they were going to be able to hang into this game as we head towards the fourth quarter. Straight, straight's listed as 6-4, but uh, he 
struggling with his struggling with the, the uh, rebounds right now. He's a real soft 6-4. Uh, he's calling for the ball a lot down there, and the opportunities that he has had so far this evening, he hasn't made good on. I don't know if he's intimidated by the jumping ability of the uh, shorter Norristown players. Well, talking about height, Lee Fowler steps into the game. He's 6-6. Uh, he's a junior, and he takes over for uh, Tolson. We have a foul, and it's going to be against Fowler, I believe. He just gets in the game. Yep. First foul on Lee Fowler. Tennant takes the ball over. Taylor into Johnson. 117 left in the third quarter. DJ Johnson dribbles over to the timeline. Over to Taylor to Shear. Shear settles it down a little bit. Guarded by Green. Inside to Taylor. Taylor over to Straight. Straight loses a handle on the ball. And the Eagles are back on offense. Oh, Josiah Perry, a little trouble with the ball. Taylor with a layup. Taylor's had a good game. He's been very active. He's wide open on the offensive side. Shear finds him. Oh. He was trying to catch and shoot and also keep Marcus Green in his eyesight the whole time, and the, resulting in a turnover. Loses the handle on the ball and turns it over to the Eagles. Substitution, Brad Weldon's back into the game for... Perry. Okay, yeah, Josiah Perry takes a seat. Perry getting limited action tonight. Norristown holds a 10-point advantage with 40 seconds left to go in the third quarter. This has been a lot quicker quarter. The first game, I had a chance to talk with the refs a little bit. They were uh, blowing their whistle an awful lot, earning their salary. Yes. Which is what happens when Norristown takes the floor with this aggressive play. Taylor with a layup. It's no good. He didn't use all the backboard. Green ahead to Campbell. Over to Allen. Allen back to Campbell. Loses the handle. It's going to stay Norristown. It's going to stay Norristown. The great thing about Norristown is maybe the passes aren't exactly as accurate and on the mark as you'd like, but there's four guys cutting at all times, so if the intended receiver isn't there, there's usually someone also cutting at the same time who ends up uh, with the pass. That's right, and they do these little touch passes, and they're successful because someone's always in their back pocket waiting for it. Allen, bring the ball in, ahead to Brad Weldon, back to Green. Green sets up the offense, looks over his options. He's going right down the center. Nope, there's going to be a foul. Well, that's exactly what you want to see if you're holding the ball for the last, the last point of the, uh, the quarter. Green takes it. He's going to penetrate. He's going to either dish or if he's got an open layup, uh, he's going to take it thrown to the hole and possibly get fouled and on his way in there. We've got a substitution for Norris down. Junior Fowler comes out, and T.J. Tolson checks back in. Foul is on Shear. That's his second. Allen will bring the ball underneath his own basket. Into Campbell. Campbell in the center to Weldon. Weldon dribbles two-step, and he gets two points. Two seconds left in the quarter. They're not going to get a shot off. Man, that almost looked like a half-hearted attempt on the uh, defensive side of things by Tolson. He didn't realize he was going to be so close to the ball. Breaks up the attempt for uh, Tennant's last shot. And I'll tell you what, Brad Weldon with 12 points, he, he's probably averaging about a point a minute. He hasn't seen as many minutes as Coach McGee probably would like uh, for him to get, but he's been in foul trouble. Norristown will open up the fourth quarter with a 12-point lead. But yeah. they really have remained in control of the game for, for the majority of it. That's a true. Couple scares. That's true. Weldon started off the, the game with a lot of points. He had, I think, five or seven points right at the beginning of the game. Sat down because of some foul trouble, but now he's come back on the floor, and he is the leading scorer for Norristown. For William Tennant, T.J. Johnson and Curtis Taylor are sharing the burden right now. Each have 13 points, uh, and it's 47-35 uh, as we watch in our, uh, the William Tennant cheerleaders. Well, I'm going to make a prediction on the final score. We'll see how close I can get. All right, here we go. 70 to 47. I think Norristown's going to start to pull away. 70 to 47. I think so you're looking at a 23 to 12 run in the fourth yeah, quarter. Yeah, I really am because I think what's going to happen is uh, with about three, two or three minutes left to go, Tennant's going to be all over Norristown, and they're going to go to the line a lot. All right.